good morning and sairam to all welcome back to our online classes here in this video we'll do exercise of workbook chapter number 10 add our points i hope you all have done your work which i have given in previous video isn't it now in this video we'll do questions related with our workbook chapter number 10 add our points okay so let's start students this is chapter number 10 add our points this is the workbook page page number 45 okay here the question is given three friends mona rita and seema are playing a game who are playing games mona rita and seema they are playing a game okay what game they are playing mona rita and seema are jumping and playing what are they playing jumping okay mona jumps on every fifth step mona jump on every fifth step okay rina jumps rita jumps on every sixth steps okay and seema jumps on every eighth step okay mona jumps every fifth step rita jumps on every sixth step and seema jumps on every eighth step okay now the question is mona started jumping from 25 from which number mona started jumping from 25 from here okay rita started jumping from 28 from which number from 28 and seema started jumping from step number 32 okay now the question is rita's fourth jump will be on step number rita's fourth jump will be on step number which step number okay so let us see rita starts started jumping from which number 28 so here from here she started jumping and she jump will be on she rita's fourth step will be on which number okay and rita jumps on every sixth step rita's jumps on every sixth step it means if rita will start from 28 she jumps six step forward okay like 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so rita's first jump is on 34 now again again she start jumping again she takes the sixth step okay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 and she jump on number 40 this is rita second step and third is again will count 1 2 3 4 and 6 so rita's third step is on which number 46 number and now again she take six jumps forward so 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so the fourth step of rita is which number number 52 isn't it so what will write here rita's fourth jump 
will be on step number 52 step number 52 so here we'll write what we'll write here we'll write here We'll write Rita's R double E T A S Rita's fourth jump fourth jumps will be On step number I will write number in short so which number number 52 okay so we'll write here 52 Rita's fourth jump will be on step number 52 okay Rita's fourth jump will be on step number 52. Okay. Now, what is the next question? Seema's, Seema's third jump will be on step number. So, where, what is the step number of Seema's third step? Okay. So, Seema start jumping, started jumping from which number? Number 32. Which number? Number 32. And Seema jumps on every 8th step. Seema jumps on every 8th step. So, we'll start from which number? We'll start with 32. Because Seema started jumping from step number 32. Okay. And she jumps on every 8th step. She jumps on every 8th step. It means we'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, Seema's 8th jump is on which number? Is on 40. So, Seema jump here. 32 to 40 okay now second jump again we'll count eight step forward okay so one two three four five six seven eight so second step is on 48 this is the second jump of Seema and now third jump Again, we'll count 8 step forward. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, this is the third jump of Seema. On which number? The number is 56. Number is 56. Okay. So, we can write, we can write here Seema's third jump will be on step number 56. Seema's third jump will be on step number 56. Okay. So, so we can write like this. Seema's third jump will be on step number 56. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Third part what is the third part mona's seventh jump will be on step number mona's seventh jump will be on step number let's see mona's what question is given for mona mona started jumping from step number 25 so mona started jumping from step number 
25. So from here, Muna will start their jump. Okay. And what is written here? Muna jumps on every fifth step. Muna jumps on every fifth step. Okay. So let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, which is the fifth one? It's 30. This is the first step. And then again 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, second jump is on 35. Again 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, third jump is on 40. Then again 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fourth jump is on 45. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fifth jump is on 50. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sixth jump is on 55. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Seventh jump is on 60. Okay. So the... Mona's seventh jump. Where is Mona's seventh jump? It is on number 60. So Mona's seventh jump will be on step number. What is the step number? It is 60. So what we can write? We can write like this. Mona's seventh jump will be on step number 60. Isn't it? Okay. Now, fourth part is who will be ahead of Rita when the when she jumps on the third step? Who will be ahead of Rita when she jumps on the third step? So, who will be ahead? Seema. Seema will be ahead of Rita. Seema will be ahead of Rita. So, you will write here, Seema will be ahead of Rita. Okay? Now, second question is, fill in the boxes. Some empty boxes are given here. You will fill number in these boxes. Okay? So, let's start. First one is, One empty box is given here. Here empty box is given here. And what number is given? 6 and 23. 6 and 23. So what you will write in this box? How you will fill this box? When you will subtract these two numbers, you can fill this box. These type of questions we have already done in our maths book. Isn't it? So, the, again we will do these type of questions. I hope you all understood how to do these questions. Okay. So, what we will do? We will subtract. If we will subtract these two numbers. If we will subtract these two numbers, we get an answer. Okay. So, 23 minus 6. If we will subtract these two numbers, we will get an answer here. Okay. So, can we subtract 6 from 3? Yes or no? No, because 3 is smaller than 6. So, what should we do? We can borrow one number to their neighbor. Who is the neighbor of 3? Yes. Who is the neighbor of 3? 2. 2 is the neighbor of 3. Isn't it? 2 is the neighbor of 3. So, 2 will give one number to 3. Okay. So, here 2 become 1 and 3 become 13. 
3 become 13. Now we can subtract. Okay. So, 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6. We can count forward. Six up to thirteen. We can count forward six up to thirteen. So let's start counting seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How many lines are here? Yes. How many lines are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can write here seven. And what will come down? Here will 1. So, our answer is 17. Our answer is 17. So, we can write there. What we can write there? We can write 17 here. In this box, we can write 17. Okay? Now, the third part. What is the third part? 15 plus 12. 15 plus 12. We, if we can... We'll eat, we will add these two numbers. We get an answer. Okay. So, let's add 15 plus 12. Okay. So, if we will add these two numbers, 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, our answer is 27. Our answer is 27. 7. So, we can write there 27. Here we can write 27. Okay. Now, the fifth part is 29 and 45. 29 and 45. If we will subtract these two numbers, we get an answer. Isn't it? So, let's subtract these two numbers. What numbers are given? Here, 29 and 45. Which one is bigger? 45. So, first we will write 45 and then we will write 29. Okay? Now, we will subtract these two numbers. 5 minus 9. Can we subtract 9 from 5? No. So, what should I do? Yes. We will take 1 number to their neighbor. Who is the neighbor? 4 is the neighbor. 4 will give one number to 5. 5 become 15 and 4 become 3. Isn't it? Okay. Now we can subtract 9 from 15. So, if we can count forward, if we can count forward 9, so up to 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So, how many lines are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what we can write here? We can write 6. Okay. 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. And... 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, what is our answer? Our answer is 16. What is our answer? Our answer is 16. So, what we can write here? We can write here 16. Okay? Now, the seventh part is 23 plus 41. 23 plus 41. If we will add these two numbers, we get an answer. Okay? So, let's add these numbers. 23 plus 41. So, if we will add these numbers, 3 plus 1 is equal to, first we will add 1's place and then we will add Tens place. So, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And 2 plus 4 
is equal to yes is equal to 6. So, our answer is 64. So, what we can write in the blank box? We can write here 64. We can write here 64. Okay. Now, this side is your homework. This is your homework. This you will do yourself. Okay. Like we have done here previous. So, same method you will use and you will do these sums yourself. Okay. Let's move on third part. What is the third part? Matching. Match the following. Two columns are given here. In one column, numbers are given. In another column, notes and coins are given for you. Okay. So, what you will do? You will match numbers with coins and notes. Okay. So, Okay, what is number? What is the first number? 200. Okay, uh, 200 match with which number? Yes, 100 and 100. Here, 100 and 100. 100 plus 100 is equal to 200. So, this number 200 will match with this 100 and 100. Isn't it? Okay. Let's match. Okay. Now, second is rupees 40. Rupees 40. This number, this 40, rupees 40, you will match with with yes here rupees 20 rupees 10 and rupees 10 20 plus 10 30 and 30 plus 10 is equal to 40 so this 40 rupees 40 you will match with these rupees okay You will match like this. Okay. Now, third part. Rupees 10. Rupees 10. What is the third part? Rupees 10. So, rupees 10. You will match with rupees, notes or coins. What is given here for rupees 10? Yes. What is given? These two coins. Coin of 5 rupees and again one more coin of 5 rupees. 2 5 rupees coin are given here. So, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So, you can match this rupees 10 with these 2 5 rupees coin. Because 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Okay. So, you can match it with this. Okay, now the fourth part is rupees 300. Rupees 300. So, for rupees 300, you will match with which? Yes, you, will, you can match here. 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. Okay, 50 plus 50, 100. Then again, 50 plus 50, 100. 50 plus 50, 100. So, 100 plus 100 is equal to 200. And one more 100 is equal to 300. Isn't it? 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. Then again, 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. And 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. So, 300, when we will add all these notes, we get an 300 rupees, isn't it? So, 
we can match this 300 here. Okay. Now last one is rupees 90. So we can match this rupees 90 with these notes. What notes are given here? Rupees 50 and rupees 20 and 20. 50 plus 20 is equal to? Yes, 70. 50 plus 20 is equal to 70. And 70 plus 20 is equal to 90. 70 plus 20 is equal to 90. Okay. So, like this you can complete your matching. Okay. Now, I hope you all have understood how you will do these questions in your workbook. Okay. Your writing should be very neat and clean. Okay. So, see you soon again in next video. Till then you take care of yourself. Sairam. Thank you.